everyone! So I thought today I would show you how to make some really cute and easy Disney themed jars. So what you'll need for this video is some jars. Um, you'll also need some Sharpies and some acrylic paint. So just to start off I am using a purple Sharpie to draw the outline of the castle from Tangled. It doesn't have to be neat because we're going to fill this in with some black acrylic paint which I am doing right now. You might actually have to go over your paint a few times just so that it completely covers the glass and it's not shining through on the back. Uh, then I'm just painting in the background behind the castle which I just done in a purpley colour because on this background we're going to paint the floating lanterns from the film. Also I left the sides clear so that you can see into the jar because I'm going to draw uh, another design on the back of the jar which will be different from the front. So here I'm just using a sharpie to touch up the edges of the castle because they might not be very neat after you paint them. And for the back here I'm just using a sharpie to outline the sun illustration which appears on the lanterns in Tangled. And here I'm just using some yellow paint to paint it in. You might have to go over this a few times as well because you can see the glass through it. Here I'm just adding in the lanterns, just do some rectangle shapes in different sizes and going all around the castle. Here I'm just putting another coat over the sun, like I said you'll probably have to do quite a few coats depending on how um, bright you want the colour to be. Then I just took some white and added some highlights to the lanterns just to make them look a bit more 3D. And for our next jar it's going to be Frozen themed. So here I'm just sketching out the outline of Elsa's uh, Ice Palace. And for this one I filled in the castle in uh, sort of blue, white and black colours just to give it sort of an interesting effect. And then for the background on this one I used a light blue colour just so it would be a sky sort of colour and added some white so you get some different colours. Again for this jar I just left the sides clear and on the back I'm going to paint a big snowflake. Then I just went over the snowflake again, like I said you'll probably have to do this quite a few times. Here I just used some white paint to add some little snowflakes on the blue background. For our next jar is going to be Beauty and the Beast themed. Um, I, on this one I actually started with drawing the design on the back first before going to do the design on the front. So on the back I'm just drawing the, the rose from Beauty and the Beast again with Sharpies. Then again with Sharpies for the front I am just um, drawing in the outline of the castle which I just went ahead and filled in with black paint. Again for this castle I wanted to make it a bit different so you'll see in a while I start to go over some of the detail areas with white and grey paint just so you can see more of the outline of the actual castle. Here I'm just filling in the rows. I think for mine I gave most areas about three layers of paint just so it wasn't too opaque. Thank you. 
And for the background on this one, I just done a sort of ready colour to try and match in with the Beauty and the Beast uh, theme. And then for all of them, I went and added some glitter onto the designs on the back just to make them stand out a little more. And also on the tangled one, I put some glitter on the lantern. Here is what they ended up looking like. I think they turned out quite nicely. They're really easy to do, so feel free to try this out and see how you get on. So that is it for today's video everyone, I hope you liked it. If you did, feel free to give it a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!